Unbelievable. knew that was coming already considering the light that was uh, being emitted from over here. Whoa. What the fuck? There's the camel. What are they doing? Oh, poor animal. This is it. Unleash these soldiers. This is very odd. I Turn must return it to its tomb. place and end this nightmare. Back I go. Don't shoot me, you yeah, dick. Do I dream? Take the quick way back. I thought there was a door on this side. Apparently not, though. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of. No, definitely not. fuck am I in conjunction to the fuck I'm trying to be? You fuck off, you fucking cocksucker. And it's my own fault. I'm just in a foul mood. Being lazy and didn't want to fight them. It's all it is. But yeah, no. Literally, the. I thought there was like a door right here. But I guess not. Uh. <clears throat> the wind 
rises. And the sun Ah, uh, fuck me. There was nothing I could do there. <laughs> fuck. Sometimes I just want to sit and record and it's just not a possibility for any any number of stupid reasons. And then it just puts me in a fucking mood. There we go. So I guess there is only one way into this. I have recovered the object. Where's he gone? Are you here? Something must be behind here. Let's get you where you belong. I didn't even realize it said escape the tomb. Cause I'm an idiot and didn't read it. <laughs> oh fuck, don't. Jump! Holy fuck. <laughs> Being tested on every fucking level possible, I swear to god. I find that second one hard to believe. Oh my god, okay. If you don't want me to climb in there, just say it. at last I really hope this is part of the quest we found you wandering dazed in the desert where is the adventurer and the object we found only you muttering about the lost army I battled with soldiers returned from the Duat let us pray you were simply overcome by heat these strange rumors from Thebes terrify everyone. Pray, Osiris, that none are true. Well, we did that quest. Now I have to wonder where am I? Spirit catcher, late bow. Really, though, where the fuck am I? Huh. That's a long way to be rescued. But I guess there, yeah, I guess there really is no closer town there. Eh? 
Well, that's that area done. We have the white desert up here. Doesn't actually seem to have anything, but I do want to still kind of same thing. Poke my try that again. Poke my head in. It's probably a bad idea, but. We do have a nice light bow though, so the next time I have to fight an elephant, I'll lay the bow out. Or lay the bow out. Lay the elephant out. With this new light bow. Spirit Catcher. The only uh, legendary status bow I don't have, or the only legendary rarity bow I don't have, is this. Uh, Hunter bow. Yeah, let's head out to the White Desert. I'm gonna guess there's nothing out there either. Uh, fuck it. Away we go. Oh God, they're fighting. <laughs> I'm expecting nothing in this white desert either, but we'll check her out. Sandstorm coming. Whoa. So this is the vault. Yes. Yeah. I think there is a more clearer path if I go this way. Yeah. Basically here, I just want to continue to head west, south-southwest even. Till I enter the white desert. Whoa. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh my god. God forbid you go up that one little path there. New region discovered, White Desert. Whoa. I don't see anything from here, so I can only assume. I know there's stuff in the Black Desert, because I see the two tombs there, something up on that hill. I don't even think there's anything out here. Great sand sea. I think all of this stuff is just uh, event locations. Like, for example, there's what? The Trial of Sekhmet down there. What is this one? Trial of Anubis up there. But also. Same thing with those seas, too. Like, I gotta poke my head into the seas at some point or another. Alright. Yeah, let's try the Black Desert next. I know there's going to be, obviously, locations over there. It's not even about, like, wasting our time and coming into these areas that don't have, uh, locations. It's just about exploring. So, obviously, we discovered 
the white desert region. That's what I set out to do. Also, we're back in Greek, Greek territory. It was right here. Don't look at Eyes open. Hey. Alright. Just over that ridge there is where my next location is. I think it's on top of that right there. There's a location up up there. These two back-to-back -back indicate that it's most likely uh, a tomb and then the first civilization tomb. Just using some meta-game knowledge here now. Be very surprised if it wasn't. New region discovered, Black Desert. <laughs> and new location, No March's Tomb. The Durst curse befall you. Diarist curse in case of my worst fears literally took me a minute to clue into that Leave that there for a second. I was also going to make a remark about how uh, it's unusual we found a first civilization tomb, like, not at the end of the video. Because the other ones have been at the end, but now there's this where most likely going to be at the end of the video. <laughs> Judging by how long the uh, the talks are at the end. I think I want to move this to this side. If it's incorrect, I can always fix it afterwards. Okay. Because I got to go up anyways, and I think... By the looks of things, I can get up on both sides, and it looks like it connects on both sides, so. Mayhap I was wrong. I really don't want to just move it for this few things on the other side, but unfortunately it doesn't look like there's any any way to get over there. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. This thing's so fucking weird. Quite what I want in game. Ooh, it's 
Good thing I came over here because I need those. Do I do I do? Say by nut. It's a funny phrase. All right, now just move us all, all the way back. Regardless of, you know, how long that just took and almost how unnecessary it felt, it was actually very beneficial because I'm looking for many carbon crystals. So, there is that. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. All right, ability point. Let's go find this other tomb. It's definitely most likely that way, I would have to assume. Shisham F er at Interesting. They're really gonna make me dive, huh? Uh, I don't really wanna go over there. Okay, this is A slightly terrifying, but B very questionable and I will say that because I don't have that breathing champion thing which is like the only location this might actually be beneficial for wondering if I activate this is it gonna like pause my breath yeah it better because I if I don't go up now, I'm basically going to die. I'm going to drown to death. Drown to death, Jesus, Josh. going to drown. Thank God. Free transmission. Segment 2. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 93 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. Hello, world. Language is the key to our mutual understanding. Yours and mine alone. We listened to your times. We learned. And today, we'll exchange words from the age of post-truth. They mean nothing to him. Human language carries knowledge and wit lies and broken promises through language you share fear excitement hope it is the syntax with which you articulate what surrounds you a structure to express and share your understanding of the world it conveys abstraction change and uncertainty human 
human language is flexible. It can even become mathematics. It solves and predicts, weighs and decodes. It can count objects using basic numbers in one breath and solve quadratic equations using imaginary ones in the next. We've engineered dialogues with thinking machines in an attempt to add new vocabulary to expand your understanding of reality. But your mastery of the code is rudimentary at best. No surprise, you were designed to have boundaries after all. And one cannot speak of that which one cannot conceive. The code, equations that define life, they are nestled deep within every star and every mote of dust. Every second that passes is a word, a symbol, all part of an intricate yet simple language existing within the framework of time itself. It is the one rule which applies to us all, immutable, inescapable. The code is a bridge, a single point of cohesion between your civilization and mine. It is a language that can be read that tells of what was, what is, and what will be. A language that we who came before can read, though you cannot. Time is more than the hour of the day, the reading of an atomic clock, something to lose, something to run out of. Time is a set of rules not unlike the language you so dearly use to converse with your powerful machines. Time is a system that defines what comes to be. That is how we understand it. The code is time, and time is code. As you scratch the surface and uncover the truth, ask yourself if there is something more, something else. No need to be puzzled. You've seen time written before. You are surrounded by it as we speak. To your untrained mind, time might just look like paths and nodes. To us, it is not unlike a chalkboard covered in calculus. It reveals a window through which stretches the map to infinity. Yeah, see? As I speak of it in its true form, your mind is incapable of making sense of it. Were you to read, you'd learn about the other simulations. You'd learn about the genesis of who you came to be. You'd learn about space and its fluidity. Simply put, time is the language which existence is made of. All our existences. Your, mine, and all those you dare not imagine. Took a quick look because I was trying to find the elevator. Because <laughs> I knew I was going to be limited. Okay, that was a nasty trick. I swear to God, I thought I seen one of those uh, things there. Also, I guess they put our pause on the breath thing. Which is actually good. Well, there you go, though. We did... Oh, for fuck's sakes. We did actually end... There we go. On a, uh... Uh, Discovery. I don't know why I tagged that, actually. Um, I lost my complete train of thought. I don't know where I was going with that, so we'll just actually check all of the equipment here, get rid of all this other crap that I don't want or need, and then we will end the video because now I am completely lost as to where I was going with that or what I was saying. Uh, I do need carbon crystals, like I said, I need at least two more. Well, really, I need seven more. Uh, because I need hidden blade. And I need Breastplate, but I think there is two upgrades to the Hidden Blade before it becomes Legendary status, so I'm not entirely sure, unfortunately. 
Apparently my uh, bracers still need carbon crystals as well. The tool pouch, we all know about. We know all about that already. Uh, skill tree, we almost have all the skills, which is nice. Uh, in the next video, what we're going to do is uh, check out this last location in the Black Desert, which was way, 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 way at the top of that hill, mountain, actually. Top of that mountain there. And then I think the next thing we're going to do in terms of uh, everything is we'll explore the Great Sand Sea. I'll pop my head in the region, take a quick look, see if there's anything populated there. I think I might just grab a boat f somewhere from Alexandria, enter into the Great Green Sea, and also the Mes Mesogeos, Mesogeos Sea, just to have those locations discovered. And then we'll hit the Katara Depression. I'm looking for the last stone circle, and I think it's in one of these two regions. Could be wrong, though. I don't see it anywhere on the map, so we just haven't come across it yet. That's not to say it's still there. A dirty trick would be hiding it somewhere in either the White Desert or the Great Sand Sea. So, keep that in mind, too, but... Yeah, so anyways, I'm up for time. Been over on time for a little bit now, so we're going to end the video. When we come back, like I said, we're going to climb that mountain just behind us there and see what is up at the very top. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and say, comment down below, subscribe, share. So I'll see you guys for watching. I'll see you later.